never leave the house without the pack where my at take an l and try to double back we ain't doing that say she mad but i know it's cap i've been through with that need someone to hype me up Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, hype me up, hype me up. I ain't got a but they hands to the ceiling. I ain't palm reading, but I got a man they feelings, yeah. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. So first and 10 now from the 30. First play, and Purdy wants to throw it. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, it would have been, been a different story. long night. And throwing here, Purdy. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Mm -hmm. Put a check mark in the bounce for the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forcing completion. That'll 
problem to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Here's Purdy. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Throwing to start the drive. Allen flushed out right. And complete right side to Cook. Room to maneuver at the 35. And down to the 28 yard line. Cook up the gut. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir, 27 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown bass to kick it away and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 the San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive and last time they were stopped on fourth down had a drive stalled out we'll see how they respond this go around I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense or confidence? I think as a defense, you are so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway, but a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect feel great about yourselves. On third down, it's Purdy. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So, what did you... Everybody bro, come on, bro. It's not even that serious. Come on, man.
quiet, a real speaking voice of God. Every word I jot, feel the spirit breathing. Best new artists, but the way I cook, very seasoned. Everything around me moving. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Dallas Cowboys. They met in back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the 90s, and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. That return, it will not be on the postseason highlight reel. If you're the offensive coordinator, you've just changed your play calling because you thought you might have some field to work with. Instead, now you've got to call plays that won't make mistakes. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. So they'll accept that penalty and that'll of course, of course cuz it's Dallas. Prescott looks to throw on first. Looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Yeah, they corrected their mistake. Right around the 17 yard line. Man, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis from three yards out. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. He takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Throwing again on second. Nah, bro, don't leave. Do not. I swear to God, don't leave. Fuck.
like Telling them all that yesterday's price is not the same price Eating the boys for breakfast, I can tell you what it tastes like Wake up and I see red and I still don't got no brake lights Yeah, feeling super fly I look in the mirror, see ambition in my eyes Got more than one formula, they love the way I drive Yeah, I've been surprised, there's no need to be surprised Baby, I'm a go getter, go getter. Yeah, you better go figure, go figure. Baby, I'm a go getter, go getter. Yeah, you better go figure, go figure. Mm, please not at all I walk in when it's crunch time Leaves in the fall Woman on me Only hit my name on the roll call It's like there is no ground beneath my feet I got no flaws uh, Still humble but just don't get it confused You know who I am There's no need to introduce I am one of one They can't stand it but it's true Sicker than the average Ain't no challenge that's immune Baby I'm a go-getter Go-getter Yeah you better go figure Go figure Baby I'm a EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Dallas Cowboys. They met in back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the 90s, and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Allen going to go to the air right away. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Allen on third. That is caught. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, you want to make sure that on an opening drive, that you at least stay out there for a while and get into the flow of the game. A three and out would have been problematic, but that's a good throw there to ensure they get another set of downs. This a quick pass to Davis. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. It's now second and six at the 44 yard line. To throw, it's Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Harris. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 
The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Hallett. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Hallett. Throw, but incomplete. I don't see Morgan trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space. And they believe that he creates mismatches. Bro, what the fuck was that? The motherfucker tickled the fucking ball in the air. What the hell is that? Fucking mad at me. Nigga's gonna tickle the fucking ball in the air. the quarterback keep him here on first and 10 and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22 give him 10 yards on the keeper and it'll lead to a second down Allen and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete Defense is a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7 0 Buffalo. Makes the score Bill 7, Cowboys nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple of yards shy of the 30. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Long, 65 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Aubrey Good with a P.A.T. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. come to the line to start their next drive well certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time now Charles remember they had the short field they took it in the end zone now this is going to have to be a longer more sustained drive if they want to get points yeah a little bit more of a quick strike you said something what did you say earlier Gable Davis 81 yards and the Bears have taken the lead no, I'm not I'm not worried about what you're saying right now. I want to know what you said earlier. Uh, you said I'm trash? That's fine. I don't I don't I don't I see that's let's play the game. I don't need to hear all that. If you you beat me, you beat me. Congratulations. If you don't, then stop talking, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. Why are you triggered? Why are you triggered? Why are you triggered? I saw all I heard was excuses, bitch. Don't, yo, don't lose, bro. Y'all toxic niggas like to talk y'all shit, but don't, don't, don't lose, bro. Don't lose. I, I, uh, uh, I don't hear shit. Don't lose, bro. Cause all that shit that you, all that shit that you popping, bro, on the fucking game, bro, it's fucking cute, homie. That shit is fucking cute, bro. You, y'all, 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 especially, it's all, it's, it's especially y'all Xbox niggas, bro. Y'all fucking cute, bro, because y'all want to talk shit over a mic. Hey, yo, what? Shut up and play the fucking game. You get a, you get what, a two-play touchdown, and you think that you him, bro? Shut your fucking mouth and play the game, bitch. Don't lose. I just need you not to lose. I know, I don't, no, listen, I know, I know, this, this is the same excuse that everybody fucking does. Same excuse that all y'all niggas do. It's all y'all niggas, bro. Y'all always have excuses. I, I, I'm, I'm just doing, like, I know. It's always fucking excuses, bro. Just, just shut the fuck up and play the game, bitch. Just shut the fuck up and play the game. Turn from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. 
Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On play action, Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Why oh, you got to click off, pussy? Inside the 35. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now Allen throwing on second down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing opened down the field. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Stop talking before you do something, bitch. Trent Sherfield. You right. Yards. And the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Prescott to throw it. Damn, what that set. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. But that's what they had to do more defensively. Yeah, I know. I know. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're looking for the land, but it's intercepted. And he's going to get this one to the 23 yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. 56, 56. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. 
And he's going to take this down to about the 17. And the offense moving quickly to the line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Allen looks to throw on second down. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better, too, having that lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Prescott. Over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. First down now with that clock rolling. Here's Prescott. Uh, he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. Nigga, you got bailed the entire time. Shut up. No, no, that right there, congratulations, was a dot. You're right, it was a dot. But the tight end bullshit? But the tight end bullshit, you can tell me that that was a dot. That wasn't you getting bailed. Alright, at least you, alright. At least I can give you some credit. You're not one of the delusional niggas. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. 
And a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. So a teammate picking him up there. That was near. Yeah, you almost fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you better stop. Don't do that again. You almost fucked up. Oh, I know what you. I know what you wanted to do. I mean, I've done it. I've done it, but yeah, you almost that right there. You almost dropped the ball big time. You know, just just because I know that was bullshit, I wasn't going to celebrate on you. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. Say what? Nah, I just like playing with uh, Josh Allen, but I'm, I'm a Steelers fan, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, I know it's gonna it's, it's gonna be disgusting for me to say, but yeah, I like Lamar. I like, I like them in college, so when the Ravens took him, it kind of hurt. Yeah, I, I have a conspiracy with that, bro. About the about the Ravens and the Super Bowl and everything, and uh, about the whole Super Bowl logos and shit. Yeah, it's going to be Ravens and 49ers. I don't think we'll do that. I was, I would have tried to pick that, but yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too uh too sure about that. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Yeah, yeah, he would have caught that shit with good touchdown. Instead of in big chunks. Man, you be catching me on all the fucking time. He's got his tablets, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the forty, they'll mark him down at the thirty nine. Fucking knew it. Yeah, I ain't expect anything from that. I knew I was gonna have it. I said, "Fuck it, let me just try." I know I got, I gotta be out of that defense. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I um, I went to uh this little uh Madden Madden tournament up in Philly, and uh yeah, just by using that that defense, bro, I came in like third place out of like two hundred and some people. So it's not bad. Oh shit.
All right, bet. So, I mean, so, what's that? Honestly, I don't even know, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm over here fucking. See, look, look, look. See, you got me fucking talking cordial shit. Got me fucking up. <laughs> but, I, I don't know. I don't think so yet. Got it. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Yeah, somebody else said that shit too. It's, 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 them, that, them edge rushes be. Yeah, it's dangerous. But with them, I know I got to, I got to like. Well, I, well, with you is different. With you, I got to like try some, some other shit. Like I'm actually like, kind of trying a little bit, but. But the with some other people, they just like uh like the scenes be open a lot. You see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there. I don't know, I got it. Yeah, because if I don't, bro, it's a, it's a loss and probably a pick or some shit. Oh yeah, I peeped that. I saw that bump. I was like, yo, he got to get over. See, now I feel bad. I was talking shit to you because you actually, I, you actually kind of cool. <laughs> Ah, uh, bet, bet. Yeah, nah, I just got done talk. I just got done playing this, uh, this, uh, actually another, a different Cowboys player. And this nigga, this nigga came in the game talking about, oh, you trash, I'm about to beat your bum ass. I'm like, bro, like, hi, how are you today, right? <laughs> He was like, nah, nigga, fuck all that shit. I said, all right. I said, I said, look. I said the same thing. I said, look, you talking reckless, just don't lose. I just need you not to lose, right? He was like, nigga, I ain't going to lose, bitch. I'm about, I'm about to get like two pick sixes. I'm about to, cause I, got, I, got, I got them boys, right? He a real Cowboys fan. I'm like, ah, right, give me the fucking line again. Oh, I didn't repeat that nigga. But, shit, it went from... I think he got three points, and then we didn't even get out of the second quarter. It was like, it was three to like 40-something. like, that's because you was talking shit, bro. Stop talking shit to me. Like, fucking ask me how my day is. Like, <laughs> compliment me, yo. And then I'm telling you, if you I told the nigga, I said, yo, you compliment me, right? Are you talking cordial? You, you going to win. He was like, nah, nigga, you don't do that here. You don't do that, that cordial shit. All right, that's why you down. Are you down for yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the same thing. I'm listen, <laughs> when I'm whooping somebody's ass, I'm talking hella shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, how did I not get the oh my god, alright bet. Alright dog, we gotta stop. You got you, know, you, you getting you getting a little bit too much momentum right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for that bail. You try, you try to high point that shit, right? Or, uh, I'm to catch that. Oh, I think you got me. Oh, what y'all doing? This is going to be a pick or it's going to be a touchdown. Of course. Oh, that was me? Yeah. 
Okay, so he stepped foot out of bounds. Charles came back in first to touch it, and they got him for a little touch it. Yeah, and you know it doesn't matter either, Brandon. Catch it, don't catch it. If you're the first to touch it, that's going to draw a flag. Yeah, yeah, no, yep. Definitely, definitely. Hold on, hold on, Matt, Matt. Hold up. I'm sorry, what did you say? All right, bet. Aubrey now for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. It's all one word. Yep. So after the touchdown, all the way now to kick this one away. Gotcha. I'm about to add you on here, so next time I can watch what you do, so I can, you know, I can expose you further. Now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you stop me right now. If you just if you stop me right now, go for two. You get it. You deserve the win. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. I don't like how this looks. I don't like how this looks, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation. Catch that shit. Go. Damn, why? Get that bum ass animation. Hey, I try to swerve your ass. Damn, I had all my adjustments right to this fucking two point, I mean, the, the two minute warning. I'm just getting up, too. So right now, I'm over here stuttering and shit. Second and six. That's how I, so the only reason why I did that play, I was actually going to run it until I seen your safety. You know, when I motioned and dude out, he didn't come up a little bit. I was like, oh, it's coverage. I'm about to get hell of yards. Yeah, when you do that play, yeah, when you do that play, you put the high route on the street and you motion over uh, the tight end, you put him on a comeback and just block running back. Uh, whoever, whoever. Yeah. You, you rank on him? After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. That nigga don't take Bass. <laughs> Yo, fact. I, I think I seen that nigga too. Here's first and ten. Yeah, what you doing with your life? Here's Dak. That's complete to Lamb. And he almost gets this. Yo, they ain't up. They ain't in their mind. Basement. Everything. Just playing the game. Yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to preserve my grandma shit. They ain't got no loyalty. Just want that money. Damn. Like that. Oh my lord, bro. How the fuck you get that open? Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, I get it. Yeah, on my YouTube, bro, I just post, I just post, like, my like my wins, my losses and shit like that. Like, I'll, I'll post, like, right now, I got hella videos on my shit. And, uh, bro, if you see my offense, bro, it's the most simple shit you can ever, like, imagine. And you be like, that nigga, that nigga, what's that? You know, actually, I appreciate that. Last year, um, my offense was actually, I think I was, they was ranked number, like, 97 or some shit. And this shit was, the only thing that I ran was, like, verticals and, like, jet sweeps and shit. And I'll play, like, maybe, like, three times a day. Oh, shit. I'm going to fucking pass that shit up. Nah, I ain't that stupid, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Get rid of the ball. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, I'm still conservative. Ain't that about a bitch. Yeah, I don't ever punt, bro. Now they're out there again to try once more. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, smart. It's fucked too. All right. <laughs> Shit. Now do I punt? Yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Man, I was about to say, ain't no fucking way. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Big D.